Hello friends, this is Paul OM0ET and welcome to another video, short video about the frequency correction of the Guangsheng UVK5 after the hardware modification. As you can see, I added the version 2 modification board into this Guangsheng radio. And there is an issue after the, you modify this radio. The frequency of the balanced oscillator or the BFO is not correct on the frequency. So the frequency when you tune some station on let's say here 20 meters you will notice that this frequency is slightly off. And the reason why is this frequency slightly off is this capacitor and inaccuracy of this capacity right next to the crystal and therefore we have to replace this tiny capacitor for the correct one we need to find a correct value to get the right frequency this frequency will be not correct on all bands but you you, you have to choose your favorite band and then you have to do this calibration. I have to turn on my frequency counter or generator. So I set the frequency to 14200 and the signal strength is set near S9. I connected the radio to this uh, generator through the uh, coaxial cable as you can see that the frequency on the VFO on the radio is set 1 kHz down. So the difference between the signal generator 14200 and radio 14199 is 1 kHz. And that is the sound what you should hear from the speaker. But as you can see right now on the screen, it is not exactly 1000 Hz. It is 1300 and, th and something. And this is the value what we have to change. The easiest way would be to replace this capacitor by some kind of small or extra small capacitor or variable capacitor or trimmer and set the correct value but I don't have any kind of small variable capacitor like this and therefore I will remove this light, little uh, capacitor and measure its value. After it I will replace this capacitor by another value and will be all the time looking at the screen and the frequency counter and I will get 1000 Hz. 1000 Hz is my goal and this is correct setting. As you can see I removed this little capacitor and I have measured it. It seems that this tiny capacitor is around 20 picofarad value so I will start with 2 picofarads as replacement and then I will add in parallel some more values until I get 1 kilohertz so I started with two picofarad capacitor and as you can see on the screen the oscillator doesn't work at all so I definitely need to add more capacity. And as you can see I added maybe three picofarads in parallel to two picofarad capacitor which means that maybe five picofarads are currently between the crystal and the ground and the sound of the oscillator now is like this and as you can see on the screen this is something around 300 hertz and little more so we see that the frequency start rising and therefore we have to remove this capacitor and replace this upper capacitor for a bigger one. All right, I will choose some maybe six picofarads. So let's try 
6 picofarads. Okay guys, so now we have uh, 2 picofarad plus 6 picofarad, 2 capacitors in stack and the sound is very close to 1 kilohertz as you can hear and also see on the screen. So the frequency is somewhere around 1100 uh, hertz and we are very close now we need to lower the frequency so we need to decrease the value of the second capacitor so I presume that maybe uh, five and a half picofarad could be okay as we can see that I have option 5.1 picofarad or 5.6 picofarad 5.6 picofarad capacitor on top of the 2 picofarad capacitor on the base so in total we have 7.6 picofarads and the frequency is like this and as you can see also on the screen we are somewhere around 1 kilohertz, it's 960 and something hertz. This is much closer than before with a 6 picofarad capacitor. I don't have any option between uh, the 6 picofarad and 5.6 picofarad. I will stay here with 5.6 picofarads because this is the closest value to 1 kilohertz. So in this case, I'm as close as possible with my uh, set of capacitors and I can use both capacities like 2 and 5.6 picofarads. And this is the final installation of two capacitors connected in parallel and the capacitor on the right side is 2 picofarads and on the left side 5.6 picofarads. There is some little tolerance on this capacitor's values, but I would say that it is something around 7.5 uh, picofarads together. And the frequency currently is, as you can hear and as you can see, 961 hertz, which is just uh, almost 40 hertz below 1 kilohertz. I think that this difference in frequency is pretty um, good. Uh, 40 Hz you maybe will barely notice on the SSB signal. In case you're asking why I put those two capacitors side by side and not uh, on top of another. The reason is that on top of the cover we can see also the speaker and this metallic plate. I just don't want it to have this metallic plate very close to the uh, capacitor on top because this plate is very close to this board and therefore I decided to put them together side by side. So let me close this radio and test on its final. Okay, so my Quangsheng UVK5 has been finally completed. And since my parts replacement and heating the uh, PCB, the frequency may change. So therefore I'm doing this final test. Here on the right side you can see the frequency 14200 set into this signal generator. And also here is the frequency but 14199, which is only 1 kilohertz difference. The radio is set to the upper sideband, so we should be able to hear 1 kHz audio signal. So let's measure this signal. Okay, so here we can see and hear 1 kHz signal, beautiful signal, and regarding my measurement, it is not exactly 1000 Hz signal is 1055 hertz which is actually only 55 hertz different 
this is actually my maximum what I can do with my current supply of the parts if I had the uh, variable capacitor then I should be able to set the frequency more accurate well 55 Hertz is not so bad at all much better than it was 300 Hertz before this modification well so I hope that you found this video useful for you inspired and maybe you will do the same modification on your modified already Guangsheng radio HI thank you very much for watching and 73 Charlie Kilo Italy Kilo Stew uniform Charlie Kilo Charlie Kilo India Kilo Stew uniform Charlie Kilo India Kilo Stew uniform Charlie Kilo India Kilo Stew uniform Charlie Kilo Italy Kilo Stew uniform Charlie Kilo India Kilo Stew